Hey, first grade art friends, it's Mrs. Herbe. We're going to start a new project today, and um, we're going to be focusing on a couple different things. I'm going to show you an early example of what we're going to be working towards. Um, we're going to be creating this fun background with different colored pieces of tissue and glue. And then we are also going to be talking about positive and negative space, and we're also going to be talking about strategies on how to draw hearts. Um, this is not fully complete or decorated, but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what we're working towards. This week, um, in your uh, take-home materials, you should find a square piece of paper and a baggie that has all kinds of different colored tissue in it. Uh, the only other things that you are going to need um, today are you are going to need some liquid Elmer's glue. And you're going to need a cup to kind of squeeze some of the glue into, um, just a, a plastic cup or even a can or anything. Um, oops, I got just got water on my paper or anything um, that your parents would allow you to put some glue in. And what's going to happen is we're going to um, take our cup, and Mrs. Hurry's just going to squeeze. I'll kind of show you. I'm going to squeeze until sort of the bottom of my cup is filled with glue. So I'll kind of show you guys that. So it's not very full if you look at the edge. It's just, I've just covered the bottom of my cup with glue. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to add a tiny little bit of water. Probably like, just like a, like a, t maybe one, two, okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to mix that water into the glue so that it makes the glue a little bit more like white paint instead of glue. But it's still um, fairly white and sticky. So you kind of see now I kind of have this kind of a mixture. Okay. Um, this is something you'll want to have to ask a grown-up for a help with because it, if you put too much water, then your glue will be too runny. Um, and if you put too much glue and not enough water, it'll be too sticky, okay? So what's going to happen is um, I want you to get your, get your glue ready, grab a brush. Also, if you uh, go to start this and you realize, oh, I don't have Elmer's glue, uh, send me a message in Canvas. I can send some home to you. We have lots of Elmer's glue at school. Um, and then get your tissue, and uh, then we'll get started. All right, guys. To make this fun, what I would do is I gave you a whole bunch of different tissue colors, and sometimes they're all kind of stuck together. So what I would do is take a few minutes and kind of look and see what kind of tissue colors you have. I made sure that everyone got all of the different colors that there are. And so you want to kind of separate the tissue because it likes to stick together. And so I'm finding in here there's a bunch of orange and yellow and purple. There's some red. I've got white, green, yellow. And I'm going back in the bag and oops, I found some dark blue, some light blue. So go ahead, kind of separate your tissue out so that you can kind of see what colors you have. You probably will have way more than you need, which might be something fun you could do. You could use the rest of the tissue to do something else to create some kind of paper like this and use it for something else if you want to. So I'm going to spread out all this tissue, okay? And once you get that done, whoops, it's blowing onto my paper. Um, once you get that all done, um, I'll show you how we're going to get started. All right, guys. I also just realized there's probably one more thing you want, and that is a placemat. And that could be an old piece of cardboard from a box or a piece of paper or a piece of foil. Just something to prevent you from getting sticky glue all over your parents' table. So I happen to have a cardboard box here 
And I'm gonna grab it and set my piece of paper down on top of it, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our handy dandy uh, glue and what we're gonna do is, here, I'm gonna put this up here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna dip our brush in the glue and what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread that glue onto our paper. Not the whole thing, but just kind of in like one little bit of a corner. And then here's the cool thing. I'm gonna take a piece of tissue paper and I'm going to stick it down and it's going to stick to the paper. And then what I'm going to do is take some more of that glue and just gently brush it over top of that tissue, okay? This particular tissue is um, called non-bleeding tissue. So what that means is if we get this tissue wet with the glue or the water, um, it's not going to, um, it's not going to, uh, the colors are not going to release from the paper and um, mix onto the paper. So then I'm just gonna keep going. So I have that yellow square in the corner and I'm gonna decide what do I think might look good next to it? And then once I have it stuck down, I'm going to paint over it with my brush. It's okay for the paper to overlap. In fact, it kind of makes it look more interesting. And always remember before you stick to get a little bit of an area wet with the glue. So now I'm going to go ahead and put an orange piece down and once I have it down, I'm going to smooth it with my brush. All right, and then I'm gonna just keep going. So I'm going to wet this area. If your uh, glue steams too sticky and it's not spreading for you, you can have your mom or dad just put a few more drops of water into the glue. Mine seems pretty good. Um, you can see I'm just spreading it and then I'm just gonna work my way. Notice brush, get it wet first, then stick, then brush again. Get it nice and covered. And then I'm gonna start it again where I'm gonna brush with the glue, get it sticky, and then take a piece of Tissue. You want to also make sure that you don't leave any white spaces showing. So I'm going to then brush over that green. It's looking nice and colorful. You could also experiment with, um, so I'm going to put another dark blue right here. Brush over that. I also want to see, might want to see well, what happens if I use the white and it goes over top of a, a colored piece. So I'm just going to put that white down and you can kind of see it makes the colors that are already there look a little frosty and then obviously you can see the white through, through there. I'm going to put some light green. Oops, you know what Mrs. Herbie forgot? I forgot to get that spot sticky. So kind of always say to yourself, sticky first, then I can put my piece down and I'm going to brush back over. And then you might be, oh, I'm so excited to put down another piece, but just wait, get it. Get another spot sticky, stick it down, and then brush over it. And I'm just going to keep going um, with this. Um, I'll do it with the um, with the time lapse, so you guys can kind of see it's going to go a little bit uh, faster and you can see me finishing up my whole square, but you guys can also just take your time and work your way all the way around your piece of paper and cover it with all of these 
nice tissue colored squares to make a really cool background for your um, piece of artwork. Uh, when I'm finished, I'll pop back on and I'll tell you the last steps for what you need to do today. Have fun! All right, guys, I have finished. I was able to cover my entire piece of white paper with colored tissue squares. Um, and they're all nice and stuck down. It's still wet and a little bit sticky, so I'm just gonna let it chill out on this piece of cardboard to dry. One thing I wanna recommend that you do is um, take your brush, wash it out in the sink with some nice warm soapy water. Um, I have a little bit of glue left in here um, you have two things you could just throw the can the container away that you have or one cool thing is if you let the glue dry you can pop it out in one piece um, that's kind of another fun thing you can do um, so that's all that we're going to be focusing on this week um, so I hope you have fun with this if you have extra tissue and you happen to have extra paper have fun um, making some more colorful uh, paper that you can use um, for another project um, after we explore uh, what we're going to do with this with this kind of paper with um, our current project. So I hope you guys have a great week and I can't wait to talk to you on Tuesday.